Eliminate your Wi-Fi dead zones once and for all with the TP-Link M5 Mesh Router. Hello everyone, mesh routers are a great way to improve performance and reliability of your Wi-Fi network. TP-Link's M5 router is affordable, easy to set up, and provides excellent performance. In this video, we'll explore its fast speeds, easy setup, and ability to eliminate Wi-Fi dead zones. We'll also do a quick unboxing and demonstrate the router setup using the TP-Link application. The video is time-coded, so you can skip around as desired. Right on the front here are the specifications. It's a wireless 400 megabits per second on 2.4 gigahertz. 867 megabits per second on the 5 gigahertz network and it does have two gigabit ports on the unit itself it supports two separate LAN networks so you could have a guest network and your primary network it says on the front here this will cover up to 2,000 square feet I think that's a little generous you probably should cut that back to about a thousand square feet if you have a lot of internet connected devices Okay, inside the box we have the main unit, the two Ethernet ports, and the power connection. And there's a reset button on the bottom if you ever need to reset it. Inside here is the power supply. You have a little quick guide, and it comes with an Ethernet cable. This is everything you get, and that's it. Now that we've completed the unboxing, I thought we would go through talking about the operation of a single central router. Ideally, these are deployed in a central location, which makes it easy for each of the internet devices to connect to the router. But things are not normally ideal. These routers are typically in the corner of an office or home area. This makes it easy for those that are in close physical proximity to communicate with the router, but those that are a far distance away may have spotty coverage or no coverage at all. So what are the options? One of the options is you can deploy a wireless access point. These will extend the coverage of your main router and allow devices to connect to the wireless access point and have an adequate signal. The problem with these is you wind up with multiple SSIDs, so the name of this to log in is going to appear different on the wireless connection than the main router. You've also added complexity. Now you have multiple different types of devices across your network that need to be managed. In addition, as you physically move from one location to another, you may have to re-log into that wireless access point to get the connection. This is why mesh routers are so popular. A mesh router, just like a central router, needs to be plugged into your internet modem. Later in the video, we'll walk through the application and show you how to use this app. It's pretty simple. You just click the Add button, and then in this case, you would select the M5. We'll walk through that in a little bit. For now, we're just going to show you how to connect it to the main internet modem. So here's your internet modem. What you want to do is remove power from the internet modem, connect the ethernet cable between the main mesh router and the internet modem, reapply power, and eventually the wide area network light will come on. Once that light comes on, you apply power to the main mesh router. Eventually, the light on top will turn solid green and the LAN light on the internet modem will turn on and you will have wireless internet connection. Of course, a single mesh router doesn't offer you any advantage. That's why you will deploy multiple units throughout the area where you need a strong internet connected signal. And the process to add each of these is pretty much the same. You go to the app and say add and it's recommended that you start out with the one that is closest physical proximity to the main router that you've already set up. Subsequent to that, you can add your other routers through the app and you have a complete mesh network with multiple units. The beauty of that is now each internet device will connect to the router that gives it the strongest signal. In addition to that, as you physically move throughout the area, they will automatically transition to the router with the strongest connection. The less obstructions and the closer physical proximity, the stronger the internet signal between the two units. As you get farther away and have more obstructions, the signal will get weaker. In my limited testing, I did not notice a severe degradation in data throughput. Just something to keep in mind. We presently have this already set up on the network. What we're going to do is we're going to add this other deco unit and show you how to set that up and connect it.
First thing you need to do is get the power supply and get it hooked up. Plug the unit in. And it'll start off blinking yellow. Eventually it's supposed to go to green. In between that it should go to a blue light status. What you'll need in addition to that is to download the TP-Link Deco app and set up an account on that in order to set up the unit. We've already completed that portion of it. So we have the app up here on the phone. From here, you will go to the plus icon, go down to add a Deco unit. And we'll go down here to the M5, M9 series, select that. It's gonna give you some suggestions about where to put it and where not to put it. Probably should heed those. It tells you it's gonna start with yellow and then go to pulsing blue, which is where we're at right now for pulsing blue. Now it says it's looking for the deco unit and it found the unit and it's asking you, where do you want to put the unit? In this case, we're gonna say office and click next here. Now it's applying the settings. Once this is done setting up, you will notice the light will turn from blue to green. And over here it's saying it's done. So we'll select the done. What we'll do is we'll click in on this to show you all the different units. So we've got four in total. There is one thing I do want to show you, and it's kind of something you need to be aware of. If you see this unit that's in the garage here, if we click on that, you can see the signal is really weak. So no matter how many of these units you have in your office or home, the one that is farthest away from another unit is going to have a very weak signal. Here where it says connection preference, you can select that. And normally it's best to leave it on auto. But if you think one of your units is closer to the one that has the weakest signal, then you could go ahead and change that from auto. We're going to go ahead and select that just to see what happens. And click up here on the save. And it still says weak signal. So it's just something you might want to play around with. If your units, one of them has a weak signal, you might move them one closer to the other and select connecting the two together to improve the signal performance. If you have a unit far away from another unit, it may not improve the performance of your internet connection. That's it for today's video on how to set up the Deco M5 to eliminate Wi-Fi dead zones. Before we go, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on technology. Share your mesh router tips in the comments below. We're always happy to help. Have a great and wonderful automation day.